Hi guys, this is Hudiriva. Welcome to my channel. So this is my first time making YouTube videos. I hope you will like my content. I play mostly strategy games, so my first Let's Play series will be about Hearts of Iron 4. I hope you will like it. Okay, let's start it. Uh, I recommend to start with Germany. It's a really easy country, I think. First time everybody can play it. I will try to explain what I'm doing as best as I can. <laughs> uh, if you have any thoughts, you can write it in the comment section. Okay, let's do it. So, yeah, I think regular is enough. Recruit, it's too easy. Veteran, it's too hard. Okay. So, as the German Reich, it's not so hard to play. Without getting in a war with the Allies, I think. So, this will require that uh, we have to do it before, I think, the Spanish Civil War. Uh, because if the war tension is too high, England can guarantee uh, the independence of Poland. So if we attack them, they, be, they will be likely to come and defend them. And we really don't want that. So before that, we will have to make sure the Anschluss is done. And after that, I think we will go to conquer Czechoslovakia. Hmm. Okay. So, as you can see, the main notifications, I think everybody will be familiar with this. Uh, I will set the research technologies, what I think are the most important. Yes, production, 5% production efficiency, that's good. Uh, yeah, construction speed also important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, research time, absolutely. And the other one, I think, will be, yeah, support weapons. That's always good. Okay, the, that's my first uh, for technology, what I recommend, what I use. Um, let's see, our troops. I like to keep everything organized, so it's maybe, it will be maybe annoying for some viewers, I don't know, I don't care. Okay, we will make a army, we need a leader, of course the highest skill level. Mm. I think we will use Erich von Manstein. Yes. And they will prepare to attack Poland. Um, so, because I like to organize my armies, that's why you will see that I will make a separate army with the mountaineers. And they will only fight in the mountains, so your frontier line will be here. Okay, we start with some motorized infantry and with some panzers. Panzers are really good as you can imagine. I think we won't send them to the Spanish Civil War uh, because if the communist wins in Spain we can invade them also later on then that will be really good for us. Uh, yeah. Okay, military factories, absolutely infantry weapons and support equipment because our Oops. Use support equipment, support equipment, infantry equipment, artillery. So we will start uh, making more troops because we have only 22 and we need 55 to complete Anschluss. As you can see, yeah, 55 divisions, 55. Yes, yeah, 55. Okay. So we will need 33 more. Units, I will just add three. Nine, ten, that's enough. Location, yeah, that's good. And we will set them to go to the first army. 
Okay. Um, yeah, our factory is just some artillery. Yes, yeah, some tanks also. Panzer, sorry. Mm, and we have five more. Ah, support equipment will be good. And we want to deploy our units as fast as I can because if we want a fast and uh, Anschluss, then we will need them really quick. So they will be green, but they will have the Polish war to get some experience. And you can get another frontline, this army, here also. And these divisions will go here. Mm -hmm. And to get some preparation bonus, they will need... They will need some plans to prepare. So okay. they will attack these few provinces. And the others will go around this river. Yeah, sorry about that because no, I just couldn't make it right for the first time. Okay, as you can see, there will be twenty divisions, uh, divisions here and four here, twenty-four exactly. Okay, so you have one more extra unit. Okay, you will use another general. Yeah, max entrench entrenchment and combat fit is very good. And there will be no penalties for the size of our army. So I will definitely do remilitize the Rhineland. And as Germany, I won't care about uh, our ships because they uh, need oil and that's what Germany doesn't have in the early game and you can only get it via trade so I won't care about this at all because uh, Great, Britain, Great Britain has a really big fleet and I think um, if you focus on making more ships than Great Britain, that's a little bit challenging and you won't be able to build up a big army. England, I think it's not so much big problem if you have paratroopers, but mm, it, this will be uh, in a later episode, I think. Okay, so we got our troops ready. I don't care about this. Okay, we have three civilian factories. I think as Germany we have mm, not the, the be biggest amount of military factories. Mm, we will have more later on, but I think civil, fa civil factories is more important in the beginning. So I will just drop down some civil factories. Okay, and uh, we need some resources. I will see how the game works out. So we need exactly 8 oil. Soviet Union is my good friend. They will give us some. Yeah, rubber. Uh, we want, we don't want to invade uh, Netherlands later on because they have the biggest amount of rubber after the United Kingdom. And obviously we won't be friends with the United Kingdom. And if we attack Netherlands, nobody will give us enough rubber later on. Yeah, I think everything is alright right now. Let me check if something... Tanks no surplus... Okay. 
Yeah, the game is going on in a while. Speed? That will be enough, I think. Yeah, the mountaineers, they will have another order. We'll have to attack in the mountains. Hmm, we will make later more mountaineers, so let me just add some them. Five. So we want as many infantry equipment as we can. As you can see, we lack 30, 13k. So we will wait a little bit. I will set my um, navy to patrol. Get some intel from England, France, and other countries. Mm -hmm. So how are you? Where are my fleets? I will tell them to come in this port. And after that we will give them orders. So I will use my panzers also. I need... Uh, Arwin Rommel is really good, but Erich von Manstein is better. I think the Panzers will push the line into Warsaw that uh, we will get the victory conditions faster. Uh, I will edit it a little bit more. Yeah, okay. That's good enough, I think. I think I, we can give some speed to the game. So I think this will go down like in history, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we can grab Spain if the nationalists win the civil war. Of course, later on we will upgrade our armies, but we will need more army experience to do that, and hopefully we will get more in the Polish war. Their army is, I think it's really weak, they have like 48 divisions estimated, they really don't have any factories. They don't have too much airplanes also, it will, it will be really fast. Okay, so let's see our airplanes. I really like to send everybody back to the reserves and after that create new wings because that's more easier for me. Two wings also. Okay. So every airplane in is in reserves. So we will want to get air support in Western Poland. So our only rest base is here. Niedrich Schleistein or something like that <laughs> and other person. Okay, so we have closer support. That's the most important after the fighters. Mm, I think other person will have the closer support. Sorry. And we go here. Yeah, so as you can see, they won't be able to support everywhere because this air, f air uh, province is too big, air map. So I think we will make that they will split in half. Also the fighters, 
They will go here. What do we have? Tactical bombers. Mm -hmm. I think tactical bombers can help us. Well, because they are bombing... Uh, units also. We'll check it. Just, yes. They will also come here. These units and these two also. So as you can see, uh, the fighters will capture the other fighters and bombers and the close air su support will bomb the units and the tactical bombers will also bomb the units. We don't want to dis uh, destroy the infrastructure because if we take over and annex Poland then we will use their factories. Yeah, you will have to always set the operation to not to fight to death because that's not a good way to handle your planes. Yeah, you don't have to use any or other strategy in this war because it will be really fast. We will make more tactics in later on. So, yes. Yeah, our tanks, okay. Mm, so I, I'm not uh, exercising my troops, my new recruits. I won't exercise them because uh, that will take up more infantry equipment and we don't have enough infantry equipment. We will have to wait until they can deploy those green units. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So we just wait. I will a little bit speed up. We have 30, sorry, we have 30 troops, divisions, so we need 25 divisions, so if we need two pack of these and one pack of the mountaineers, and we can make the archers. Yeah, I think it's capable before 1937. Okay, the tension, there's nothing. Uh, and you wanna do Rhineland as early as you can because annexing uh, Ethiopia is decreasing divertension as much as I think remilitizing the Rhineland is increases. Uh, the Rhineland and Ethiopia is too percent I think yeah thank you for that okay we have 263 politica power we will like to hire a guy who will speed up our construction I like to choose him first early on and the other one will be Maybe army innovations, I think. Later on we we will make this treaty with the USSR. We will be able to uh, research faster the panzers. Now that I think... Yeah, Reichsautobahn. This is the other one good. I don't know... Hmm. Army innovations. Because I think when we are done with our researches, uh, we will take those upgrades. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, army experience. <laughs> That's not a lot. Yeah, sorry for my language. Uh, I'm not as good as I think with the English language. We will see how the others like. I think I will get better later on. I have to use 
get to used to speaking in English constantly, commenting my videos. Yeah, I make a one big navy and I don't care. I will just... Ah, shit. Right click. So, I think I will just patrol here, get some intel. Yeah, that's it. And... Ah, shit, only in ports. Okay, come back. Okay, you have the high skill. Okay, we also have some party. Okay, I will do this interesting thing thing with the United States. I will boost the fascist party popularity because they won't join the allies because they're will be fascists, I think, when World War II breaks out. And that's a really good thing, because United Kingdom is a huge pain in the ass, and if the, another world power joins in, and we conquer the United Kingdom, we will have to defeat the United States, and that's a little bit a problem. I think First, we will take over Poland, we will take with the focus is uh, Czechoslovakia, Austria, and after that, I don't know how I will do it, probably become friends with Italy, and after that taking over France, if there's, there will be a national Spain, then also Spain, and I am willing to try to go hard on the parachutes and send them to the United Kingdom, uh, and because because we will have to be careful because British Raj because can become a uh, world power after the United Kingdom falls. So if they are in the war, I don't know. So in my one of my previous campaigns. Uh, I conquered the United Kingdom, France, and after that, the British Raj became a major world power. And they were so far off that I couldn't conquer them, so I had to go through Turkey and Iran to conquer them, but I didn't have the patience. Uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, more research bonuses, okay? So, as you can see, I will have to learn some things about this game also. So, if you give me some advices, I will read them because I think nobody will watch this video <laughs> the first time, maybe later on. So, I can read the comments. I think I will upload one video a day from uh, one series. We will see. I don't know how many time I will have, how much time I will have, because I hope I will work something in the summer, but as long as I have time I think I will make videos because I will play games and my buddy who plays with me all the time, uh, he will work all the summer, so I will be alone and sad. Okay, we will have, we have more political power. Soon factory converts it. No. Yeah, but we are not building any military factory. Mm, no. Political power gain. That's good because we gain one point fifty five. That's not much, but something. No. Mm, that's some good one. Put it power again, yes. Uh, we don't care. Okay, I think we will choose something interesting and concerns. Citizens and research time. 
Um, there's the research time. So, mm. so industrial research time will reduce our production industry. Yeah, industry research synthetic the synthetic oil. Yeah, we would like that because uh, we won't have any oil only via trade or something. Uh, yeah, we will. Uh, consider taking over Romania because they have uh, seven and the oil and that's really good for us and after that we want to conquer Turkey and get to Iran Iran because uh, they have lots of oil and we don't want to attack the Netherlands because they have all the rubber in the world okay so we have Almost, yeah, 35 troops. Okay, we need only 25. Okay, it's coming around. Mm. I think I will use, let's see. Industry, we will only able to use it five times. And the electronic, yeah, the decryption, computing, yeah, I think Spanish Civil War, yeah, so the outbreak is not important. The ending of the Spanish Civil War will give like. 10% world tension and ugh, that's that's horrible. Okay, I think I will choose the electronic because later on that's better. Okay, army innovations, cool. Air innovations, uh, yeah, we will. So I won't focus on the navy as I said in the beginning of the video. I will use only airplanes and ground troops. Because we easily can take over Great Britain with airplanes later on. Maybe I will focus on the navy also. Okay, Reichs Autobahn. USSR. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think... Yeah. 1939. Okay, that's not important. Okay, Reichs Autobahn. That's the most important. Okay. Oh, nice. We have 15. That's good. That's good. Later on, we will get some field hospital because our manpower, this is our one of the biggest weakness of Germany. Oil, rubber and manpower. These are the biggest weakness because the other major world powers like the Soviet Union and USSR, USA, sorry. <laughs> uh, they have lots of, lots of manpower and they have their own oil and rubber. Yes, yeah, so our field hospital is really good for the Casual troops, we won't lose as many men as we could. And the other one, I will tell them about later. Okay, let's see. Paratroopers, yeah, they are important. Maintenance company, yeah, that's also important. Mm. Yeah, because our troops have, as you can see, uh, some artillery uh, we will consider to upgrade the kind of artillery yeah okay this will be one of the next ones yeah and as you can see with the army innovations i think yeah we get 50 percent off from this one okay I think this will be the end of it. Thank you for watching, subscribe, 
like the video if you like it and leave some comments if you have some thoughts to the game, some tips. I will read them for sure. Okay, goodbye.